Friday. Welcome again, Covenant Presbyterian Church, to another installment of Catching Up with Covenant. We have a special treat today. We cross state lines, and some would argue we are in another country. David Dixon joins us from Huntsville, Alabama. Thank you, David, for taking some time with us today. How are you doing? How are things in Huntsville? Well, thanks for having me, Jamie. Uh, all is going really well. Uh, I'm loving Huntsville. The area is really nice. I call Huntsville like the nerd town because you definitely see it. It is a city full of engineers. Uh, at one point I heard, I don't know if this is accurate or not, but I think it has the highest PhDs per capita in the country. So I'm guessing in a certain area, the most amount of doctors. That's what I heard somewhere. But you can definitely tell this is a town of engineers and all really smart people really brilliant, but it's, re it's going really well. That's so. awesome. So now are you planning on getting your PhD soon then? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I give them props who have done all the hard work. Oh, you can, they can have that one. <laughs> I'm going to work. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, what church are you attending and how did you go about finding that church? So I'm actually attending uh, Westminster Presbyterian church. Um, funny, I actually uh, researched different churches in the area, and uh, I asked John for some assistance with it as well. Uh, Westminster was the first one that popped up for me, and ironically, uh, he sent me an email with a couple of churches that were in the area, and so Westminster was actually the first church he recommended as well, so that was cool seeing, hey, we both have uh, the same mindset with that, so uh that was the first church that i went to when i first came up here and it it was like home honestly so i'm enjoying that as well uh everybody's been really friendly and i mean it's it's a great community so it was a one stop for me that's great <laughs> that's awesome to hear that too that you got plugged in so so quick and found a church so quick uh, what do you do with your, what do you do with your free time well obviously i'm i'm continuing to run so uh, it's real. I've been joining uh, different groups with their runs. We have group runs, uh, I believe, every day of the week except for Friday. Um, so that's been really, that's been going really well is also. So can't complain with that. And <laughs> it's a so good now, how, are, how are you keeping uh, running up with uh, the social distancing? The body <laughs> distance of so far? There's so there's yeah that's we uh it's funny you say that we we kept that as the insider like oh let's keep six feet apart so when we meet up at first we're in this huge circle and then we'll talk before the run but it's like oh just in case we see anybody we're going to keep six feet apart something like that <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so awesome. they actually have a law um now that in alabama that um you can do outdoor activities but it has to be 10 uh people or less so that's been working okay awesome awesome well for our last question of what advice do you have for young professionals starting their career oh man so i i, I love my job with the department of defense that's been going uh, it's been really great and so my number one advice is I, I would say don't think that you have to have it all together by yourself I we're called to be a body. And I think, especially for my generation, they were branching off to this thing of like us wanting to be independent and wanted to basically be self-sufficient, which is great, but it's like we each have our gifts. And so I think that being a person who, having this illusion of being this person of it being of independence, I think that's just an illusion. Like what I found is that people actually like when you go to them for help and they actually respect that when you go to them for assistance and ask questions. And I've seen that for me on my job and my personal life. I mean, people have been really welcoming it. What I found is that also that it saves you time. Uh, it helps you to do a better job at what you're doing. Like a uh, prime example, like I said, I've seen this on the job. One thing that I was searching for that took me almost a day, I went to someone who had uh, experience with that and it took us less than 30 minutes to get to the same thing. So it's like, I could have just went to that, you know, and even with, uh, you know, stuff around the house, like this is my first time branching out of the house, never had to cook or anything like that. So I've been going to my parents or friends for 
different things, and they've been really uh, they've been really helpful with that. And it's been going well. So that's that's, awesome. that's what I would highly recommend. I mean, somebody that has experience uh, with something, why not go to them? It saves you time. Again, and it can build relationships in that way. So I, I, that would be my number one advice for young professionals starting out. Don't think you have to do it by yourself because you don't, you know. And like I said, we all have our different gifts. So I may not be considering one thing. This person may know. I may not know this one thing. This person may know. So it's it's a it's a chain, you know. Yeah, and that's awesome. Yeah. That's so. awesome. Well, thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, again, thank you for joining us as well. Thank you for taking some time out today and uh, spending a few minutes. I know uh, Covenant folks will be excited uh, to, to see you, uh, to see your smiling face. Uh, <laughs> I think you are constantly smiling, which is awesome. Uh, Absolutely. And we'll enjoy hearing, hearing how things are going. We appreciate that. Thank you for your prayers, and I'm praying for you all as well. Sounds good. Well, Godspeed, David. Thank you.